Hello, and welcome to the Honeywell MaxPro Cloud How-To Video Series. In this video, we're going to cover how to create rules in MaxPro Cloud. Rules are pre-programmed actions that occur based on a trigger and can be used for a variety of applications. To create a rule, first go to MyMaxProCloud.com and log in to your MaxPro Cloud account. Once logged in, from the dashboard select the menu icon in the upper left corner of the page and then select Rules. Click the Add icon at the top left of this page to start a new rule. Enter a name for the new rule. It is recommended that this be something simple that indicates the purpose or function of the rule. Next, select the site to which the rule will be applied. To the right of this dropdown is a checkbox to display rules execution in alarms. If enabled, an event will appear in the alarms page anytime this rule executes. Next, define the trigger, which is located under the When section. An easy way to think of the operation is when this happens, then this will happen. Available conditions are based on device, schedules, and time condition, and up to five different trigger conditions may be added to a single rule. Select device if you wish to use an event on a device as the trigger for the rule. You then must select a controller, a device on that controller, and which events on that device will be the trigger. The next condition option is schedules, and selecting this will allow you to choose from the list of created schedules that exist on that site. To set a schedule as a condition, you must also select at least one device condition. This is because the schedule condition is used to limit when the rule may execute, so when we select an event on a device and a schedule, the rule will only trigger the action if the selected device event occurs within the time frame of the selected schedule. The last condition option is time condition. It must be used with at least two device conditions and restricts the rule from executing unless all the selected device conditions occur within a certain time of each other. When selecting this condition, you must then set the duration, which is in minutes and seconds. It is recommended that the device conditions be selected first, with the time condition being the last condition. Once all the desired triggers have been selected, the next step is to specify the actions that will occur. This is selected on the right under the Then section. Available options are either Device or Action. The device option allows the trigger to cause a device to do something. After selecting device, you must choose the controller and devices and then choose the action the device will take. Which events are available depends on which devices are chosen. The other option is actions and allows sending an email or generating a push notification to the mobile app. Once this is chosen, you must also select which users to whom you wish to send the email or notification. A push notification is generated on the user's mobile phone if they have the MaxPro Cloud app and mobile access enabled on their user. Up to five different actions may be added to a single rule. This concludes the steps to create rules in MaxPro Cloud. Please visit HoneywellDiscoverTraining.com for additional videos and resources. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.